All right, what's going on, everyone? This is my next exercise. Again, Frank Robles, strength equals. This is part of my upper body chest focus on uh, chest and back day. Uh, so my next exercise that I do on this day after I did the D-lift push-ups is weighted dips. I think it hits your chest from a different angle. Definitely another great upper body exercise for many reasons. Uh, all right, so last time I did this, I did a total of my body weight, which I'm at 195 right now. Uh, we're in, with weight, I have 55 here. I'm going for a total of 250. Last time I did nine reps. My goal is to get 10. So, I really tried for that 10th one today. So, as you obviously saw, that ninth one I failed, came down for that 10th. Maybe could have fought for it, but uh, I don't know, I feel like I didn't have it, I don't know. Now, there's always that worry inside, you feel like you gave up, and that's great to have. Always feel like you gave up. But, at the same time, whatever, we put the work in, and uh, not to make excuses, not even an excuse. I did weigh myself. I technically, uh, the total weight here was 253. So it was three more pounds than the last time. So hey, maybe I can still count that as progress. But either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're actually gonna pause the video in a moment because I'll move on to what I do for the next part of my chest day. Okay, so the next movements are gonna be more of the bodybuilding isk type things where I'm trying to just focus on the pecs. Okay, so we'll show you what that is to finish up this chest day for chest and back. So we'll pause the video for now. All right, so it's gonna get copyrighted because I got music playing, so I might edit this out, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, what I'm going for now, this is more of that high intensity Mike Menser heavy duty training. I'm gonna do a set of flies on this machine I have here, a um, little bit, Oh, I'm gonna have still kind of like some shoulders and triceps involved. I'll do a strict, strict, strict fly with it. You'll see what I mean. But it's definitely heavy on the pecs. And then from here, I go to failure from here without any rest to a bench that I have set up trying to get one to three reps. Last time I got one right after I got nine of these. So let's go up even if one rep on both of these.
So, even though I still only got one rep over here, still an improvement because the overall, whew, that rush, time under tension. I was able to get one more rep over there, which I'm taking, that's a great bonus. Okay, try to keep those nice and clean, okay? So I got 10 reps, tried for that 11, halfway there. Um, anyways, then I came over here and banked out one clean rep with this. Overall, it's still an improvement as far as a little extra volume, okay? I'm hoping to get three of these, not a big deal though. So anyways, that completes the, uh, the I guess, focus on the chest part of the upper body today. The reason why I say that is, of course, when you're doing the push-ups, there's a lot that's just, it's not just the chest. You know, you're working your shoulders, your upper back, your triceps, even your biceps. Anybody who thinks so, or thinks differently. I've had it happen to me, you know, we're talking 10 years ago. But tear a bicep, and then try to do a push-up. Be, be surprised how much it's involved. Okay, but anyways, I'm just saying, it definitely is a focus on the pecs, but it definitely works the whole upper body. Dips, same thing. But the flies now, it's obviously a little more focused on the pec. And then coming here to failure with this one, okay, immediately after puts a lot more strain on that. So like I said, that ends this part of the, of the lift. We're gonna start recording our back part of the upper day. All right, as always, remember, thank you for watching. Stay strong, not only physically, but mentally. Thanks.